Hi, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. Hey, my Simple Story Warehouse mystery box came in. All right, so I actually took, went ahead and took everything out because I wanted to set it up for you guys so that you don't waste your time listening to, I mean, watching me unpack everything. So anyway, um, and then wait till the end because I'm going to do a quick analysis to show you if it's actually worth the money that I pay for it, okay? So anyway, here's the first item I got. I got the sticker book that comes in the four by six um four by six sheets there's six sheets in there and this is the always and forever collection their wedding collection from i can't even can't even read it but uh anyway i think it was from a couple years ago um anyway this is i set up for you so you can see what it looks like some some cute um gold foil on there as well as um some writing some cute little you know, short words and things like that, and so on. So that's good. I don't have this collection yet, um, and so forth. You, I also got these two um, foam stickers from Birthday Blast. That's the boys' collection, and it's double-sided. I actually have this already, but these are super easy to use, so look forward to, to using that as well as the girl collection. The girl collection is called Magical Birthday. And actually, I do have this collection. I have both of these collections I got recently from Tuesday morning. So super excited about that. And then I got the, um, these are, um, what do you call it? Um, um, they're chipboard frame. And this is from a collection with clear this out real quick so I can use this. This is from a collection. Um, I love the Simple Vintage collection. It's called Simple Vintage Autumn Autumn Splendor and I don't have this collection yet. It's from a few years ago and I love it so much though. Um, so I'm hoping to get this in the near future and um, these are 4x6 and 3x4 frames. So you get two 4x6 frame as you can see over there. And then you get, oops, uh-oh, I just dropped one. Where did it go? Oh, yeah, wait. That was fast. Then you get these two three by four. And then you also get a double three by four and two of them. So a total of six frames in that. That's really really um cute i love that love these these are so easy to use on on scrap the page and so forth and then we also got this um baby what do you call it it's a uh, clear sticker sheets from a collection called oh baby i don't have this collection yet either and these are just clear stickers like this and this i think it's a um um unisex collection so you can see that it's not overly pink or blue it's just kind of in the middle it has some cute words there and then some cute words there in black on clear acetate okay so that was fun and then i got a whole bunch of this i mean not a whole bunch of um the spring farmhouse collection i got these uh, photopolymer clear stamps which is if you don't know what that is it's the clear stamp but some of them like the Vicky Buton one and so forth those are all made out of acrylic which is not as good of a material as the photopolymer so that's what you like want to look at I don't have this collection I'm looking for this I don't have it yet and I'm glad I got the the um, stamps now so we'll go um We'll have that already when I get my collection. Then I got a collection of 10, 10 um, washi tape set. Each of them is from a different collection. I actually, I'm kind of anal that way. I even label them already. Um, I don't think you can see it. Can you see it? You see how I label mine? Anyway, um, these are from uh, Best Year Ever. And then Birthday Blast, the one that the uh, foam sticker came from. This is from a collection called Bro & Co, like Bro & Company, and um, so on. This is Going Places. I just picked this collection up recently, um, last week actually. This is Hip Hip Hooray. I don't have that. 
is from a collection called I Am. I don't have that either. Caden Cash. I just ordered it from Peachy Sheep. Peachy Sheep recently, so it should get, come here soon. This is called Matt from Magical Birthday, which I just show you the foam stickers. So it's perfect for what I already have that. And this is from um, Summer Farmhouse. And this is from the Simple Vintage collection called Coastal. And there's a Simple Vintage collection called Garden District. Um, I don't have Coastal, but I have Garden District. So I look forward to using these with my stuff, okay? All right, so let's put this away real quick and see if I can get to the next stuff. Okay, then I got the, oops, I got the, um, what do you want to call it? The um, chipboard stickers from Winter Farmhouse. Now, I don't have this collection yet, but I I have some items from it, so I'm, I'm glad. Um, this is the 6x8 paper pad that you come with it now these are like the echo part it kind of falls all apart when i try to open get the sticker out and stuff like that so i'm going to put it down so you can kind of get to see the the whole thing a little bit but um beware it is it's gonna if, if, if you ever get these it's gonna fall apart on you so you may have to stick actually you don't have, can't even stick anything it doesn't have a hole here um so anyway, these call Hello Winter. Actually, I start to collect these 6x6 and 6x8 one because, you know, like this paper, if it's in the 12x12, these words are super big and I don't like using that. But this, I can actually still use it on a page as a title and it's not so overwhelming. So, okay, that's the back side. These are actually really cute little um, upside down mason jar with the um, winter scene maybe it's cold outside some snowflake they say winter wonderland okay, i like the color scheme of this it's kind of muted some snowy snowflake is winter butterfly so it's a winter butterfly so why don't they show a butterfly here Set of a cardinal, that's strange. And some cute cut apart. So there's um, 12 design, two, two pages each. Okay, so I got that. And then I got, do you know what those um, snap cards are? These are like, um, these are like, um, Kind of like the Project Live card, you get 48 three by four cards, they're, they're all double-sided, and 24 four by six card. And they're really nice to use. You can use them for journaling, you can use them, cut them up and use them as, um, you know, at, uh, eph ephemera and things like that. So um, I got some sheets to show you. So this is the first one. Cute, huh? like to give you an example that's the back of this one so you can either use the design you can mat mat and layer your photos on it you can do different things to that if it's you know usually it has some other pattern in the back if it has a picture typically have um stuff like that okay so i thought that's nice for you to see layout and so forth take a quick look I always like that because that's a whole reason um, we sometimes do these um, unboxing because people want to see what's inside and not just kind of look at the wrapping because we can all do that, right? In any case, that's, this, that's the second one. And there's 24, so I have a third a third one as well. So take a look real quick. I, like, I love this one. That's so cute. And I like that they have all these different country, the different city and stuff. So it's kind of fun and it's a little bit retro. Okay. And then this is the third one. It's hard to keep these all straight, man. It doesn't quite fit on my board either. So when I set these up, I had to find surface. To stick them on. There you go. Clean this up real quick. 
San Francisco, never lose your sense of wonder. I like a lot of these cute little photo stats and little travel log and things like that. Feel note, super cute, right? And then there's a few that didn't quite make it on the page. Okay, so there's Bon Voyage. Oh, I like that. A little po postcard in the back. Again, a postcard in the back. A journey of a thousand miles. Then now here's all the, um, let me clean this up. Here's all the four by six parts as well. Let me show you. Love this one. Love, love, love. The back of that, going places. I love going flying, journaling, traveling, da da da, adventure. Look at the city. Wishing you were here. Warding pass, happy travel. Cute. I really like the colors. I got Oh, that's nice. Say hello to adventure. How would you go? This way or this way? This looks like it's gonna crash or something. So maybe this way. Soaking up some fun. Let's get lost together. Go see do. Okay, so that's going places. That's the snap card. I like it. I like it. Okay. And then I also got one for, um, whatchamacallit, Summer Farmhouse as well. So check this out. So cute. Just perfect for the summer. Cute, right? Look at that. Summer loving. And so on. Cute, cute, cute. Got it? Okay. We got this one. It's the next one. I like that little yummy lemonade, pink lemonade in a mason jar there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And all these cute little bingo cards. Wake me up when summer begins. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, now the last board. And then we'll take a look at the fresh pick memories. Hair get lighter, skin get darker, water gets warmer, drink get cooler, music get louder. That's so correct. Life gets better at summer. Okay. And by the way, that's what the package look like. Summer farmhouse. All of the cards. You get the same. Third, 48 of 3 by 4 and 24 4 by 6 This is the rest of them that didn't quite fit on the thing. So you get grilling and chilling. Oopsie. That's cute. Everything is fine when there's sunshine. Summer documented. Oh, this is nice to cut, to fussy cut out. I would do that. Summer top 10. Oh yeah. This is summer and I'll always remember it with the people. I'll never forget. Oh, that's a cute lemonade stand. Simply perfect. Oh, that's a cute bicycle. My bicycle never looked like that. My bicycle is a, it's like a racer bicycle, not a romantic bicycle. When I was young, I mean, now, no more bicycle. <sighs> kind of hurt my crotch. <laughs> anyway, summer and happiness. Some cherries for cherry pie. And that's the last one. Okay. 
All right, so those two, those two things. Then I got um, some, uh, what do you call these, uh, paper pack. These are they, what they call sol basic solid packs. And they just come with six sheets of paper. In this, um, in this case, it's actually two, it's double-sided, but it's called Happy Day. Oh, Happy Day is the collection. I don't have this collection. Um, yet, but these are good because you know a lot of the pattern paper that you get with the collection You need some solids to back it up with so that's what these are for so you get two sheets of each color and they're double-sided You just get six it's kind of funny so so little <laughs> I just bought a bunch of these type of things um, paper pad for solid paper for Echo Park. I collect a lot of Echo Park recently and so I thought that would be really good to um, to do as well. So that's Oh Happy Day and then I got a similar pack for um, Holly Jolly which actually this pad has just one sheet each um, and it's double-sided. The, the other side is polka dot which I really like. This, this is maroon or whatever and that's polka dots tone on tone so it's kind of hard to see can you see it okay so that's red olive then you have this apple green some pink with the polka dots and the baby blue and i just got this collection literally a couple days ago from tuesday morning so super excited to get that i pick up my friend karen on set too so then I got a full collection kit from, oops, from, um, I mean, called uh, Simply uh, Happy Haunting, okay? And you get uh, one sheet of uh, 12, of 11 design plus an element sticker sheet, and it's double-sided, okay? So this is a cute, cute set. Polka dots. Some of these page doesn't even, you know, you can use like this. You can use it for non-Halloween too. I love, I love this. And it's actually a really nice collection. It has some pink in there, some a little bit pastel on the peach. You know, not like the super bright orange that a typical, that's cute. Oh, this one, what did it say? Oh, these are just leaves. You see in black and white, like this is just stars. It doesn't scream how, like this, you know, it doesn't scream Halloween at all. This one does, but not this. So it's nice that they would do the other side. But I like the fact here, they do flowers, but they've got some black flower in there. Just to remind you, it is indeed a Halloween set. Okay, then the, um, um, what do you call these? Um, elements, two by two elements cards. Cute. So, but see, the back is just polka dots. These are really cute. You can use these for cards too if you don't scrapbook a lot about Halloween. This one is the three by four. This one is the four by four. Literally dying. <laughs> I looked at this real quick. I said, I came for the boobs. I'm like, okay, but it's the boobs, the boobs, not the boobs. I don't have any, anyway. Um, this is the 4x6. Can you say boobs on YouTube? Maybe not. Maybe I will get ding. Um, and then this is the... Um, what do you call it? Cardstock sticker sheets. Okay. And then, like uh, the Tuesday morning collection, they give you a, a couple of extras. In this case, they gave you... They gave me a... Um, a six by six stencil but it's from it's from the say cheese halloween collection which i don't have so it's actually really cute i don't mind that at all that's kind of like half of a mickey head um really cute so it's it's good but it's sort of it, it's not from the collection and then i also got the uh, happy kids ephemera set with the say cheese halloween as well i guess i have to go get this collection huh and I set them up for you so you can see how cute they are. How cute is that? Super cute, right? Oh my gosh. I love them. Oh, look at those faces. So happy. So cute, right? 
You got it? Okay. So then the next full collection I got is um, a collection called Bro and Code. Remember we got the one washi tape for that? I got the whole collection. Actually, I don't have a lot of things for boys. So I'm actually really glad I got this. My son doesn't like to have his photo taken. He's a teenager. This is a teenager collection. And, um, but you know, I do have a few things. So hopefully I'll have enough to scrapbook him about, but um, this is really nice. So I got, I, I hate these, these things. Why don't they give me the, the real, this is like Xerox on eight and a half by 11. Um, okay, so you get 12 double-sided design. I mean, 11 double-sided design and then one element sheet. Very nice coloring. Totally cool. What's up? Awesome. That's sick. So red. Some element two by twos. Oh yeah, legit pizza and french fries. <laughs> and if this is hot sauce, that's that's my son, all right. Look like do I have another one of these? Is that a duplicate? Let me see. I got different. Oh, I got two of the same paper. Huh. Interesting. That means I'm short something. Dude. Cute. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Killing it. Cool. Totally awesome. Bro. And then this is the sticker sheet. Very nice. I love the color. It's 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 primary, but it's you know toned down, so it's good for teenage boys. Hey hey, Tootsie! I mean sushi. Stop. And then the extra, I got the um, chipboard stickers for for it. So totally good for that. And then I got the um, bits and pieces ephemera pack, which I'll show you what I got. Very, very nice. And I also got the journaling bits and pieces. So this is the regular bits and pieces, not the journaling bits. I don't like the journaling bits and pieces as much. I like images, you know, so you can do die cuts and stuff. I don't care too much about words, but it's nice to have. So if I have a choice, I'll get both. But if I only have one, I prefer to get this one. Okay, cool, right? And then this is the other one, the um, journaling bits and pieces. Now, if you notice in the Tuesday morning uh, package of these type of collection, they always give you the journaling bits and pieces because I guess they, they have a lot of extras for that. They don't sell that as much as they sell the regular ephemera bits and pieces. So that's why how they get rid of them. But uh, it's good to have, you know, they have some nice stuff, but it's, it's much more useful, I think, the other one. Okay, so there we have it. And, um, and then I got, one last thing I got is the... SHE's 4 paper pad. So I have this collection already. Um, these you get 48 sheets of three, three, 16 design, three sheet each. And I have this collection, so I already have most of these paper, but it's good to have extras because, you know, you they're double-sided on the collection and you always, you know, you which side do you use, right? And as, as I mentioned with other things, that's the Say Cheese from Simple Stories. They're not all screaming Disney or anything like this. Have nothing to do with Disney per se. So you can use it for July 4th, for whatever you like. This too. I mean, these colors are Mickey colors, Disney colors, but doesn't have to be. You know what I mean? Like Disney didn't invite polka dots, right? Now this looks Mickey because of the font and everything else, but you don't have to either per se. So I like it. I really, really like that. Love these black and white polka dots. 
Then you get the smaller polka dot here. And then you get these balloons. Now these look very Mickey like now. And you get this yellow. They say imagine happy day, fun, believe, dream. Okay, now you get some Disney icon, some stripes, some more other kind of stripes, some more icon in black and white. Some ticket stubs. Cute. Polka dot within polka dots. Some flowers in that Disney colors. And then these cut apart that we have in the collection already. But we always like to have more of these. So that's good to have. And you can fussy cut these guys out. And that's the last page. All right. So that was awesome. Oh, and then I did get this collection. Let me move this out of the way. Um, I did get the uh, a separate accessory pack that was packaged separately for the Bro & Co as well. So I got the decorative brats for the collection. Super awesome. And I got the six by six stencil of these arrows. Look at that. Plus I got an extra um, show you where is my board for the, oh, no, it's not in the board. I got the full, oops, I got the full set of washi tape. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's the, for the Bro & Co. So I used, we saw that in the, the one I showed you earlier with, from the 10 set. And then I got this set here. And the a stripe one. I love stripe like this. This is super easy to use, make borders and things like that. So I got that full in, as part of that extra accessory pack. So I'm glad that they, you know, did that and try to kind of make a full collection for you because it's, you know, much more useful. Okay, so you ready to look at the analysis? It's... I did it. So I started to put together pricing, uh, retail pricing for the various components that a, uh, a company collection have, you know, so different companies have different things. Uh, not all company have the same type of thing. So for instance, for uh, simple stories, they do have collection kits that have a cardstock sticker sheet. They have a collector essential kit. And these are the list price that has extra bits and pieces, washi tape, as um, and so on. And then they have the basic cardstock kit, the one that we saw with six paper, the color vibe cardstock kit, also six paper, and the card kit, chipboard frame, brad, emerald dots, a puffy frame, da da da. Okay, so they have all these type of things, and I try to keep track of what their normal list price is and that this allows me to whenever people have sales you know you you know actually what's the what the retail price is so you can compare and see really because sometimes joanne would jack up the list price of something and then discount it so you think you're getting a good deal but you didn't realize that the list price is you know was much higher than the actual list price so what i did here is i put down the number of items that I got for each of these things in the kit. So I got a total of 14, um, I mean, uh, 24 things. So it took four and a half in washi tape because washi tape set tend to come as three rolls and I got, you know, 14 rolls or something. So I count that as four and a half. So by the time you take the list price and time it by what I receive in the, in the mystery box, that's the retail cost of the of the items and that add up to $167.50. That's uh, not including shipping or anything, yeah? And so when I bought the kit, and I don't know if it's still available, it was I just bought it this week actually on Monday and I receive it on uh, Thursday night, Thursday already. Because um, they're in Utah and I'm, I'm in Southern California, so super close. So the box was $50. 
I paid $13.50 for the shipping, so it cost me $63.50 for the total box. And um, and the retail is about almost, basically almost three times, a little bit less than three times the amount. Um, and um, so it's about, I would say, almost 70% off um, for that. Now, if you don't know, a mystery box are great to use if you are new to a collection and you don't have a lot of it. So I, I, I um, like buying this. I just bought one from Fresh. Um, Pink Fresh Studio. I bought a couple from Echo Park, but I won't buy anymore because basically I have too much Echo Park now. So a lot of the things that they, they'd be sending in their mystery pack, I would probably already have. So um, overall, that's just my advice to you. And sign up for, you know, their mailing list and things like that. If you like somebody, particularly if you watch some product haul videos from people and you see certain things that you like, go to that company and get on the email list so you'll know when these type of things are available. Okay, so for me, this kit was worth it. And I really like what I got. So I hope you enjoy it and you take care of yourself. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll, we'll see you soon. Bye.